mandar claro. parciales. A ver, quiero ver la otra semana. Y, ay, bueno, ya casi salgo sale? del colegio. ¿Cuándo eh, sale? Creo que la tercera semana de octubre. Ay, entonces, en caso, ay nosotros la primera semana de, novie de noviembre. No, ah, pero ay, la universidad está el 15 de diciembre. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you guys? Hello. Great. Great. I'm glad to hear I'm that. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start with that question, actually. We're going to start answering okay. that question. I received your your message. Yes. You got the message? Me okay. Yeah. Yes, I have it. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So today we're going to practice uh, the present perfect continuous, which is continuous. a structure. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have been studying. Um, as we did yesterday. So mm -hmm. remember, uh, the present perfect continues, right? Um, yes. What's the structure for mm -hmm. a positive sentence? Can somebody tell me? Mm. Passive, passive, in past it's, tense. No, no present, present perfect is, continuous. Is subject. Okay. Subject plus have mm -hmm. plus been. Plus verb um, uh, and, and, and e ing with ing yes. correct with yes. plus complement plus a complement yes, excellent friend. very good that <laughs> very is the good, <laughs> Thanks, yeah. that is exactly right okay so let's take a look at it okay we're gonna start uh, just practicing guys I send you um, to the WhatsApp group what we are mm -hmm. going to use the first part. We're just questions, right? How yes. long have you been learning English? Mm -hmm. Yes, these questions, you were supposed to answer these questions. And um, let me check really quick. Only Mirna Patricia Rodriguez. Um, yes, I didn't. My homework. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I'm sorry if I muted you. Remember, uh, we need um, a silence environment that's very important right now. So let's take a look um, to what we said. You have these questions on your uh, forum. You were supposed to answer these questions on the forum yesterday. I have, let me see, Mirna Patricia Rodriguez answered the question and she says, I have been learning English for four years. Hmm. I have been doing Xer for three hours. I have been eating pupusas are delicious. So that's what Maria wrote. Mirna, I'm sorry, Mirna Patricia wrote. Let me um, share my screen really quick so you can have a clearer idea of what I'm talking about. Good evening. Okay, so. This is what uh, Mirna wrote. I know you cannot see it. Okay, so she wrote, I have been learning English for four years. Can somebody help me correcting this sentences? For four years. For four years, yes, so we're missing the S, okay. And then is that comma appropriate there? Uh, no, maybe a uh, dot and period. then the other, period, period. period. Okay, yeah. I have been doing exer exercise. 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 exercises for three hours, okay, and again, that's a period, right, because you start a new idea, so you need a period. I have been eating pupusas. Okay, what are we missing here? To be specific. How? With the time. And mm. today at four, for example, no, what? Uh, yeah. mm, I've been eating pupusas. Okay, I have been eating pupusas. In the, in the restaurant. Okay. Or in my house. Or... Yeah. Oh, okay, in that restaurant for I don't know, a period of time. Look, uh -huh. I have been eating pupusas, they are delicious. I've been eating pupusas, they are delicious. Remember that still the present 
perfect continuous is to talk about an experience on the past that is still going on. Could be, okay? So I have been eating pupusas, they are delicious. Okay, that's what Mirna was supposed to write here on the discussion forum. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. So I'm just sending the reply to Mirna. That's the purpose of writing on the discussion forum, that me or any other classmate can correct you, can help you correcting your sentences. That's the way we learn. I actually sent to the group these questions. Okay, so let's start. How long have you been learning English? Hmm, I'll let me see who's here. Okay, I made that question yesterday to Madeline. Let me see, Adolfo, how long have you been learning English? I've been, I have been learning English um, for uh, one year. Okay, for, for a year. For, for a I'm year. Sorry. For a year. For a year. For many years, for two years, for three years. In, uh, in, in class uh, like this. In classes a, like this? In classes like this is uh, one, a year. Is a year. Okay, so it's uh, it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. It has been a year. It's been a year. Great. Excellent. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Jennifer, please turn on your your uh, video if you can. Elvis, why are you tired? What have you been doing, Elvis? I. Um... I have been uh, tired. Tired. Uh, how? Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. Tired. tired. What does it mean? Tired in Spanish. I don't know. No Spanish. I'm tired. <laughs> ah. Very boring, tired. Like a boring. No. Okay, uh, tired. Tired. Oof. Oh. Okay, exhausting. Uh, exhausted. exhausted, good, exhausted, very good. Exhausted. Uh -huh. Yes, I have been, I have been tired in my job. Oh, today. so you have been working? Yeah. Okay, I have been working. I have. Today, mm -hmm. I have been working today. Perfect, Elvis, that's right. Okay, so that's the reason you are tired. Very good. You have been working. Let me see who else is here. Jennifer, what have you been eating? Um, I have been eating um, a lot of pupusas this week. Oh, really? Okay. Excellent. Good for the health. Okay. Good, very good. Patricia. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. How long have you been learning English, Patricia? I have been learning for two years. I have been learning English? English for two years. Two years, very good. Okay, see, that's very simple, guys. That's the way you use the present perfect continuous. Do you still have any question? regarding the present perfect continuous. Questions? No? Okay. So, there is a reading exercise on your platform and make sure you complete all of these exercises. Here, you just have to read, okay? And for example, Go answering the questions. How do other musicians describe Sara? So it's at the beginning of the reading. Can you see it? It says other musicians have described Sara Chang as the most wonderful, perfect wonderful. Violin, violinist. Viol, violinist, yes. Okay. Who gave Sara her first violin? You need short answers, okay? 
in short form. So who gave Sara her first violin? Her father. Her father, right? Her father. Her as father. simple as that. Just put her father and so on. That's a very simple exercise. Today, I want to move on because we have to start with, um, <clears throat> with unit three. Okay. She's on the next part. Let's see. In this class, you will listen to a conversation where participles as adjectives are used in context. This is very useful. And if there's any doubt, we're gonna clear it out right now, okay? Good. So let's watch the video really quick and then I will explain you a little bit more and give you more examples, okay? Okay. Nice to have you back with us. So, can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, so this video, this audio is divided into sections. I sent you to the WhatsApp group this part, okay? And we're gonna start with this part. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna split you in groups so you can practice the conversation. Guys, try not to use Spanish. Don't use Spanish, okay? Listen first. So the conversation says, do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about, listen, how about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Hmm, I would have said I heard it's really exciting. But anyways, okay. Actually, I repeat, actually, the last one was boring. What about, I repeat, what about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? Novel. I don't know. I don't know. His books are actually, I'm sorry, his books are usually fascinating, but I don't know, and I, I'm sorry, but I don't like horror movies. Voy a repetir esa parte, sorry. I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. But I don't like horror movies. No estoy diciendo, but I don't like horror movies. But I don't, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? Well, what do you want to see? Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested, I'm interested in the new Haley Berry movie. Okay, it looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. So, I'm going to split you in groups. Do you have any questions about the reading? Questions? No. No? no? It's easy, right? It's very easy. So, you have the dialogue. It's the second picture I send you on the WhatsApp group. So you can pull it up as soon as I split you in groups so we can practice. Richard, I have a question. Yes, please. How do you pronounce I don't like horror movies? Horror. Good horror. question. Yeah, listen, you say ho and horror. then roar. Horror. Horror movies. Horror movies. Yes. Horror movies. Oh, Very okay, good. Horror. 
horror. horror. So your tongue, Madeline, your uh -huh. tongue, oh. your tongue oh. comes yes. to the back. Horror. 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 There you horror. go. Horror. 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 There you go. Horror, horror movies. movies. Excellent. Okay. okay, let's do it, okay? Let's do it. You will be in trios, so please practice as a role play. Trio. Let's go. My only, only is Roger and Carl. Only are Roger and Carl. Only two. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Yes, what we need to do. Sorry, I I going out in the in the class. We we have to practice the conversation. Yep, oh. let's practice the conversation. Does anybody has it on the on the WhatsApp group? I... Yes, I have. I have. Can you share your screen? Okay. Can you see my stream now? Let me see. No. Now? Yeah. Okay. So we're supposed to practice this conversation. Okay, if you want, I start. But we are three, right? Yeah. This. Two. Try the conversation you bought first. Okay. All the conversation or I'm Roger. Yeah. You're going to be Roger. Okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? What's playing? Who spoke first, Beatrice or Jennifer? <laughs> Beatrice spoke first. Okay, Beatrice. Jennifer, answer. Maybe what's playing? What about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on the Stephen King new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't. I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Mm, now, excellent pronunciation. Excellent pronunciation. Totally. Just one thing. Uh, the past of uh, that verb, you know, is based, based. I'm going to do it here. Look, look, it's based. D, d. Okay. Based. So uh, the rules of pronunciation of the regular verbs ending on ED, there are three rules. The first one says that if there is no vibration on your throat, let's say, on your mouth, there's no vibration on the base form of the verb. So then you add ed and it sounds like t -t -t -t. okay. So okay. for example, if I say give me a base form, let me see. Oh, miss. Missed. There's, there's no vibration. You say missed. 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 Okay. Kiss. Kissed. You say fix. Fixed, fixed, there you go. The second rule says that if there is vibration, okay, for example, do this, try it, try it. If you say save, 
save. Save. Your save. mouth. Save. You have this vibration in your throat. So then you say saved. Saved. If you say hog, for example, hog, abrazar, hog, in past is hogged. Hogged. Okay, one more. Frame. 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 Frames. It vibrates. So you say framed. 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 And here is base. 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 You say base. Base. Uh -huh. Base. Base. There you go. Base. There you go. And the last one. The other ones will be. Mm -hmm. Continue. Sorry. Ending, continue. That's okay, Max. Ending in. V or T sound. Oh, sorry, I have the caps on. Ending in D or T sound. So if the word by itself already ends on T or C. For example, if you have act, okay? Active. Active. Active, very good. And so on. Active, okay? Um, want. Want. Wanted. 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 Very good. Okay. And verbs like walk, talk, they we, sound like only a letter T at the end. Exactly. That's the first rule. First rule. T worked. Worked. Second rule. Th second rule. Th your tongue vibrates. And the last one is red, 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 or oh, eat, eat, eat. Okay. We will continue seeing that. Okay, now do it again with Max. Girls, one of you, please practice with Max, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. I share my screen again. Movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halberry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, we finished. Okay. Oh, thanks. Clap for us. Clap. Yeah, all right. Come on, okay. let's do it again. Yes, okay. teacher. That's let's, fine. Come on, let's do it again. You can do it. Okay, I will just listen. Okay, three, two, one, action. Uh, do you want to see a movie tonight? Maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the new movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you see, want to see? I'm interested in the new Hail Berry movie. It looks good. That is fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay. Now, Madeline. Ah, with um, Roger. Uh, do you want to see a movie tonight? Maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen? Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halberry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's practice this a uh, little things let's see well, let's start with the um, with the abbreviation of the question what do you want to see what do you want to see or what do you want to see 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 what do you want okay what do you want to see what do you want to see i will write you i'm going to write you <laughs> what are you want? <laughs> I'm going to write it. Write it down. What are you I'm going. Want? I'm going to take notes. I'm going to take notes, Madeline. Yes. Or I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Okay. Uh, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? What are you what want to see? What do you want to see? No, Madeline. What do you want to see? What do you want to see? What do? 
What do you want, want to, see? to see? There, oh, very good. Okay. What do you want to see? Okay. Thank you. Next, sometimes when we read, we remove the apostrophes. You know, we remove the construct the contractions. Be careful. So it's not that is fine. No, it's that's fine. That's, that's fine with fine. me. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. That's fine. Next, it's not playing. Listen, playing. No, playing. 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 That's it. Right. Playing. Next, Madeline, you say film. 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 Yeah. Una cosa que hay que mejorar siempre son los sonidos finales de las palabras en inglés. Cada palabra tiene un sonido final. En este caso es la M. Film. 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 There you go. Film. Sí, porque soy raro si digo film. 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 Very good. Uh, 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 Next. Yes. Okay, homework. Homework. In the endings. Okay, there are three pronunciations for the E D endings. The first one is the t, t, t sound. Okay? T sound. And that goes that goes for verbs which in its base form don't have vibration. So if I say Fix. Fix. You, you say fixed. Fix. Fix. Fixed. There you go. That's the first rule. If I say Fix. miss, miss, there's no vibration. I say miss. 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 Okay? miss. Now, if there is vibration, if there is vibration, for example, if I say save. 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 You say saved. Saved. The. Saved. 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 Very good. If, if you say hog, for example, hog. 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 Okay. Hog. You say hogged. Hog. Hogged. Hog. 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 There you go. That's the past. Hogged. And the last rule says that if the previous two rules go here, you know, if the base form of the verb, the regular, regular verbs on its base form and on t, t sound or th sound, then you pronounce it as e. For example, want. Want. How do you say it in past? Want, want, wanted, 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 wanted. If you say act, okay. acted, 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 got it? Acted. That's the pronunciation. Okay. Check. Teacher. Google it. A question. A question. In which case? I I speak uh, with T. With I which Okay, with the t -t sound. Okay. Um, verbos regulares que yes. no tienen vibración en su forma base. Por ejemplo, le decía mm. Miss yes. Fix. Fix. Okay. Dos ejemplos. Okay, uh, I can't remember any other right now. No se me ocurre ningún otro ahorita. Right? Oh, kiss. Kiss. Yes. Kiss. 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 Miss. Kiss. Fixed. Kiss. Yeah. Fixed. There Fixed. you go. So, homework. Yes. Uh, los, el listado de verbos que les envié ya tiene esos, esos pequeños uh, símbolos, la T, la D, la ID, aparecen en la última columna de los verbos regulares en el listado de verbos que les envié. Okay. Okay. So, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go Thank back. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't worry. Okay. Let's study that part. Let's move on. Okie dokie. Okay, we're just waiting for Iris.
Patricia. Oh, no, 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 Beatrice is the only one missing. There we go. Okay, so I'm noticing um, a small area of improvement and I was telling uh, the previous group about it, the ED endings, ED endings, Google it. Go to Google and find uh, how to study ED endings. On the list of verbs that I send you, these symbols, these little symbols, you know, little T, little D, and the little ID is in the last column of the verbs that I send you. Have you, have you noticed on the regular verbs? Yes, so. Yes. Yep, so go to the list. There are three, three columns. Yep, there are three sounds of three the sounds. regular verbs in past. When you add ED, respect the final sounds. Respect the final sounds, it's very important. So the first sound is t, t, t. The second sound is th, and the last one is id, id. A teacher, mm -hmm. I, I have only one uh, only finish uh, with D, no with T. I I have only one. You only have one what? Yes, amazing and tired only. Well, if you go to the list of verbs, I don't have any more regular verbs. Regular verb, but I have only. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty verbs. I have okay. only twenty verbs. Don't worry. Let me help you. Are there more? Let yeah. There's a lot more. No, I don't have it. Teacher, send me. Okay. Please. Look at it. Look at this. It's on the chat. It's on the chat, Madeline, and I sent it. Yes, in my in my. I send it twice. So take a look. It says. Okay irregular verbs here right yes it says you scroll down if you scroll down these are irregular now here you have regular verbs you see yes i do and this is the pronunciation termination so if you say add you, you have added. to say in best added perfect okay aid you see aided. you don't have the list you don't have the list, it's on the chat. I will send it to you again, don't worry. I'll send it to you, okay? Addressed, addressed. I don't have it either. Don't worry, I'll send it again today, tonight, as soon as we finish. Or actually, I will, I will do it in a few minutes, okay? Because we, will, we, are about, we are about to use it. It will be very useful tonight. So let's, let's move on. The second part of your video has to do with listening. So I will make you some questions, okay? You will see some questions in the video. Pay attention. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Okay, what happened? That's your challenge right now. What happened um, afterwards? What happened afterwards? They call it the, uh, the scene name. 
Sí. Um, eh, oh. Stop, stop. How do you say cine in English? Cine. Theater. <laughs> movie, movie, theater. <laughs> the movie theater. Come on. Movie, movie theater. Uh -huh. um, um, the movie are close. Close. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Also, uh, they decide watch TV in your home or house. In in their house. In their house. Who's talking, Max? No. Okay. Adolfo. Oh, Adolfo. Adolfo. Thank you, Adolfo. Okay. They decided. Very good. Okay. Hey. Decide. Okay. New words. What I said. Afterwards. What happened afterwards? How do you translate that? How do you translate afterwards? After. It's another way. Yeah, it's another way of saying it. after. Afterwards. Luego. Okay, Después. Afterwards. Okay. Call off. Okay. Call off. Uh, they called off the um, the date, let's say. They called off the date. They canceled. You got it? Call off is a phrasal verb. Call off. Yeah, they call off the, the appointment. They call off the match, the football match. They call it off because of the rain. Because of the rain, they call it off. So they canceled the, the appointment, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's another way of saying cancel. Is a phrasal verb. Cancel. Very good. Mm -hmm. Call it off. One more? One more? This is an idiom. Let's call it a day. I understand it, but I can't translate it. <laughs> Come on, Max, try it. <laughs> if I tell you right now, hey, you know what? I'm tired, guys. Let's call it a day. Bye-bye. Let's call it a day. Bye-bye. Let's call it a yeah, day. Yeah, teacher, I know how to use it. But I can I cannot translate it. Look what I'm doing. Let's call it a day. It's over. It's over. It's like saying We're finished. We're done. We're done for today. We're done for today. Let's call it a day. Okay? So that's it. Let's not continue. Let's call it a day. Bye bye. That's the way you say yes to terminamos. Okay? Let's call it a day. Work wise. Let's call it a day. Let's call it a day. Let's finish the activity. Let's call it a day. Okay, so what happened? They call they called the movie theater and then what happened, Madeline? What happened? Um no, I have uh, the other idea. It's um <laughs> it's, it's time is over, it's the same. Let's call it a day. Time's up. Time is up. Time's up, yes. Time's over, time is time's over. Time's over, time's up, yeah. It's the same, it's a synonym. Synonym. But we use an idiom, we're using an idiom. Idiom, yes, I, I know the idioms. I Excellent, I love it. Okay, what happened, Alicia? So they called the theater, and then? And then uh, the, uh, the men uh, told them that the movie uh, it was closed because the last time that the movie uh, was presented is uh, the la it was the last night last night yeah the previous night the previous mm -hmm. night was the last time the movie aired i think they don't use this the movie mm -hmm. aired oh aired. what is aired what do you ah. think on air. Ojo, que air. eso es lo que estamos a punto de ver. Acabo de ocupar un adjetivo yo en pasado, participio, para uh -huh. calificar a la película. The movie aired. Okay. Okay, so, uh, pronunciation, let's see. Oh, well, one thing. Mm -hmm. A clerk. The movie theater clerk. What is that? 
Cleric. I don't know, teacher. You know? Cleric. Anybody? No. Max? Come on. Alfo? There is a... Cleric. Cleric. Elvis. There is a people uh, like, a, a, like a typing in, in the office. Oh, look, the secretary? Why Cleric. Yeah, like a this. Uh-huh. Excellent. People typing in the office. Yeah, that's a clerk, a store, a store clerk. Uh huh. For example. My clerk is. Uh -huh. Dependiente. Ese dependiente. Uh -huh. Excellent. Yeah. Store dependent. Yes. <laughs> Got it. That is a clerk, an assistant, a dependent of a store, or in this case, the movie theater clerk. clerk. Okay. Okay. The movie aired last night the movie aired until last night mm -hmm. we remove it it's not longer showing okay very good now what did this couple decided to do what did this couple decide to do in the end what did they do in the end they will watch on tv they will stay home right stay home yes, and watch they will tv stay home watching TV. Have you ever been in this situation? No. No? No, no really. <laughs> really? No. Yes. Yeah, I, I think they missed something. Maybe what? we can ask for other um, Perfect. in the theater. Yes, they missed that question, right? Iris, like, hey, what other movies are you playing? What other movies are you playing, right? In order to go to the theater. Okay, great job, guys. I mean, this group is amazing. You have good pronunciation, guys, all of you. You're doing excellent. Okay, let's talk about participles and adjectives. As adjectives, okay? Participles as adjectives. I love this topic. Play close attention, okay? I'm gonna play the video. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two, I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turned it into present participle, becoming exciting. 
the same verb but this time into past participle and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun and past participles describe feeling of a noun. Okay, is that clear? Present participles describes a noun, but past participles describes feelings of a noun. Look at the examples. I'll try to simplify it. ING equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. 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 Now we'll excited. use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Okay. Questions. Look at the examples. The museum is interesting. I am interested. I am interested. Okay. So I could say, I could say, I'm interesting. I am interesting. But what am I saying, Max, if I say I'm interested? When you use ING, you're saying that you produce, the, produce that feeling. For example, when you say you're interesting, mm -hmm. you produce, you, pro, you make people to be interested in you. Uh -huh. But I am if, you, if you are interested, you are in, in you are interested in something or exactly for example, I'm, I'm interested bore and boring uh huh bore or boring is it's, it's a better example because if i can say i'm bored i'm bored I, that's how i feel mm -hmm. but if i say ah, i am boring i make feel bored everybody near me perfect max thank you did you understand guys you get it? I you got think, it? Teacher, I think interesting is uh, finished in Spanish, ante. And interesting is... Um, ado. ado. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, that's another way. That's another way of understanding it. Everybody, you got it, Adolfo? Iris? Yes. Interesante, interesado. Very good. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. How do you translate? How do you translate the second sentence? Work is tiring. El trabajo es cansado. Es um... <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's difficult. <laughs> it's cansante. Es cansante. Sí. Yeah. Cansado. Uh -huh. And I'm tired. That's like cansado. Perfect. Cansado. Okay. Teacher, excuse and if, me. And if you're tiring, es, cansón. Estoy... Cansón. <laughs> 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 en Colombia dicen eso. <laughs> I didn't understand. Ah, uh, come on. It's in Spanish. I'm sorry, Madeline. Uh, teacher, uh, we can use was. I was interested, or it's different. Yeah. It's the same thing. Ah, okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. Okay. They were saying, Madeline, that in Colombia, in Colombia, they say calzón. Calzón. For, for <laughs> what? No, no. For no. alguien que cansa, somebody or something that cansa. We, we I say calzón. I said calzón. Calzón, calzón, yes. I'm calzón. Oh, in yeah. Colombia, if they I say, it. I'm tiring. I, I just I'm going to song. ask to my friend. It's a Colombian friend. <laughs> okay. So the movie is exciting. 
Es emocionante. Emocionante. Emocionante, ok. I'm excited. Estoy emocionada. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Simple as that. Let me see if there was something else. Uh, ok. There's a, an exercise at the end of the, uh, there you go, at the end of the video that you need to, you can practice with it. So you see that you have the words amaze, annoy, confuse, disgust, disgust embarrass, 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 embarrass. Uh -huh, and shock, shock. Okay, so I had a terrible time at the movies. At the movies. First, my ticket cost ten dollars. I was really disgust. 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 Disgusted. 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 Perfect. Disgusting. Disgusted. I was really disgusted. I was really disgusted by the price, by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassed. 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 Perfect, Alicia. Embarrassed. Okay. Then there was trash all over the theater. Theater. The mess was was shock. No. Annoying. Perfect. Annoying. annoying. The mess was annoying. The people behind me talked during the movie, which was no no no, that was confusing. 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 You think it was confusing? Which was. That was annoying too. When somebody's speaking too long, too much and during the movie. Or disgusting, annoying. Let's say, okay, confusing. Okay. But the thing is that it goes with ing, right? Which was confusing. Yeah. It was annoying. <laughs> the story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too. Shock. Confusing. <laughs> too confusing. Too confusing. Confusing. Too confusing. Okay. I liked the special effects, though. They were <gasps> amazing. 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 They were amazing. Very good. Can you send us, please? A screenshot? I like it. You like the exercise? That was good. Our phones. To our phones. Okay, good. Right now. Now, I send you... Teacher, yeah. teacher. Tell me. When you say a thing, when do we pronounce that letter, that article as A? Got, you got me lost. For example, I don't know. I, I, I remember I have heard in some movies or I don't remember. They say A, A tree, for example, instead of say a tree. Oh, how do you pronounce the article A? Ah. Yeah. A, a tree, an apple, oh no, a tree. I always say A. Ah. I always say A. Ah. Maybe, be, maybe because they were pronouncing it slowly, they say A tree. For in example, a, an, a tree, a tree, a tree. British. But no, I, I've always, I've always, a tree. I always heard uh, ah, and say ah. Okay, uh, let's. I'll, I'll put it on the parking lot. Okay, Max. I'll put it on the yeah. parking lot right now. Okay, here I send you a list of verbs. I'm sorry, of adjectives, as verbs. So your mission right now. Oh. We only have five minutes, so let's do this really quick. Can you select one and give me an example really quick? Just select any of the 
adjectives. You got them on your chat too. Today we saw amaze, we saw annoy, Max said bore, we used confuse, disgust, okay? So try to use another one like charm. <laughs> Convince. Convince. Depressed. Oh, depressed, 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 depressing. Okay, try it, Madeline. Try to make a sentence, please. Go ahead. Um, a sentence. A sentence. Uh, I am confused uh, with the the phrases uh, when I am speaking so fast. When I'm speaking so fast. I'm okay. speaking so fast. Okay. I'm confused. Yes. Okay. I'm confused. Yes, Madeline. It's, sorry, it's confusing when you do that. Yes, it's confusing. <laughs> I'm confused. Yes, it's confusing when you do that. <laughs> okay. That's a good example. Anybody else? Someone else? The quarantine was depressing for me. Really? Yeah. So kinda. you you got depressed? A little bit. <laughs> That's a good example too. Okay. Okay. The quarantine was depressing. I got depressed. Jennifer, Adolfo. The sometimes the work in the uh, sometimes I'm bored in the work. I'm bored. I'm bored in the world. Okay. Sometimes I'm bored in the world. I like that. The work. Work. Sorry. Work. Oh, at work. At work. At work. At work. At work. At work. Huh. At Good. work. Good. Good. Okay. Someone uh, use puzzle, please. Yeah. Can somebody use puzzle? Awesome. Uh, Mm -hmm. No? What is puzzle, teacher? Ah, puzzle. Puzzle. I'm puzzled with this topic. Down up. Complejo. Complejo. Okay. Yeah, but look, the, look at the way I'm like that. puzzled is like like having Maruchan. Your brain is Maruchan, you know? I'm puzzled. No, I cruzigrama. Teacher has a cruzigrama. Puzzling. No. That's a puzzle. Yeah. Rompe cabeza, dice ella. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Now try to use the other ones. Okay. I'm satisfied. Okay. I'm satisfied with the way you speak. I'm satisfied with your pronunciation. Your pronunciation is satisfying. 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 Very good. Okay. okay. Very good. I send you this list. Try to make more examples, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's practice. Okay, you teacher. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good, Good night, everybody. Goodbye.